Maybe I'll write a play for Barbara Eden and see if I can bring it over to her house and ask to rehearse in her bottle room. The last fun I had was when carpets could fly. When I was filming I Dream of Jeannie, I had no idea that it would have such an impact on people. I don't know what it is about the bottle. Nobody knows. I'd either be a fashion designer or a genie bottle artist like my dad. Her looks, her costume, just the whole look of Jeannie herself. Loved it. I never imagined I Dream of Jeannie take me over the household. <laughs> I decided since I love art and I love to draw, I'd either be a fashion designer or a genie bottle artist like my dad. Hi, I'm Brian Fetzer. I live in Delphus, Ohio. I'm a huge I Dream of Jeannie fan, and I'm also a genie bottle artist. I'm a huge fan of the show. Obsessed would probably be too strong of a word. He's never like sold out a friend, you know, for his obsession. I don't just enjoy the show. I have to collect everything that has anything to do with it. I can't just have one bottle. I have to have a hundred. He's got great loyalty for for what he loves, whether it be friends, you know, family, people, and that just sort of extends to um, to Jeannie. It's it's something he's loved since he was a little kid. Hi, my name is Stephen Dolganoff. I live in New York City. I'm a playwright, composer, and actor, and I owe my career to the inspiration I Dream of Jeannie gave me when I was little. My apartment is devoted to I Dream of Jeannie, and I think I'm the world's biggest fan. I Dream of Jeannie was a television show that ran in 1965 to 1970. It starred Barbara Eden as a beautiful blonde genie who was uh, recovered on a beach by astronaut Tony Nelson, played by Larry Hagman. A typical episode of I Dream of Jeannie had Major Nelson in some sort of predicament that he wanted to get himself out of, but Jeannie always thought that she could help, and all she would ever do was cause more complication, but it was always solved in the end. You know, there's even been a lot of people saying, oh, it was a blow to, to feminism and, and women, you know, it portrayed him in a bad light, and I agree with Barbara when she's been asked this question, she's like, well, Jeannie wasn't a woman, she was a genie. It wasn't supposed to be a reflection of, of housewives or women being subservient to a man. It just takes you back to a simpler time when people could watch a show that made fun of real life without getting too serious. As a kid, watching the show, I think it was more about the magic and the idea of a genie. Um, and some of the stuff that, you know, that went on is really funny from a child's perspective. I love Barbara to death. She seems a part, as much a part of my life as like, like a long lost grandmother. And I just think it's just something you know, that's homey, that's comfortable, that's soothing about her that just ties, you know, the bottle, the painting and everything all together. If I was to take anything out of I Dream of Jeannie, something that, you know, I've learned from the show is that, um, is that you should enjoy life. You only get one go around, so you might as well make the most of it. I am a huge fan of I Dream of Jeannie. I have been ever since I was a little boy. I remember watching Jeannie when I was as young as two years old. I used to sit in front of the TV and blink like Jeannie. I used to uh, pretend that I could do the magic powers like Jeannie had. If my sister ever got uh, in my way, I would just fold my arms and blink and pretend that she disappeared and I would believe it. I think Stephen connects with I Dream of Jeannie um, because because of the magic aspect of it. Jeannie could do anything in the world. She could make herself appear, make herself disappear. She could grant any wish. I wish that I could do that. And I used to pretend that I could. 
Mm. These are good. How many calories? I have no idea how many calories. But you see, the thing is, you, you, what you do is you eat them, you uh -huh. eat the whole thing, and you go like this. Oh. And the calories are all gone, <laughs> and you gain no weight. It's, it's perfect. It's what I do all day long. The message of I Dream of Jeannie really, to me, is that anything is possible. The magic, to me, was a metaphor for the magic that you have inside of you. When I was about five or six, I remember clearly to this day, I still remember sitting on a white countertop next to a white refrigerator was a genie bottle. This is a 1964 Jim Beam Beam's Choice decanter. This is the bottle they used to create the I Dream a Genie bottle from. Jim Beam 1964 decanter. Just a bottle. I like the idea of a place that you could go that nobody else could get to unless you invited them in. You can get it at a flea market if you're lucky for maybe two, three, five bucks. If it wasn't for I Dream a Genie, um, I wouldn't have the careers that I have. You know, in addition to becoming a genie bottle artist, the genie bottles themselves, being able to paint them and sell them, allowed me to put myself through nursing school. The first season bottle, this was used during the black and white episodes. As you can tell, I've got customers who have bought 9, 10, 12 bottles from me. This people recognize most traditionally as the genie bottle. This was through seasons two through five. Somewhere between 400 and 450 bottles in the last three and a half years. All of us that are, are big time obsessed with this bottle can't explain what it is about it that has us so attracted to it. I do support his fandom to a point. I have had so many problems, battles with the wife and family members over the amount of time that I put in on, into painting my bottles. Like when we have family things, like family reunions or when we have birthday parties, sometimes he doesn't get to go because he has too many orders. Now that I've done this for, for so long and I'm at a point that I'm comfortable with the way my bottles look, that it's allowed me to relax and start to enjoy life again. It allows Brian to express himself artistically. I'm not obsessed with the show as much as I am my artwork. You know, that's where my obsession, my passion lies in creating these bottles.